DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, take two. Uh, take one had a battery that just died. It's part of my part of my life, it seems. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I was saying I'm not in my usual, not in my usual place. Uh, oh, just a minute. Okay. Not in my usual place for vlogging. There was a, a whole class had taken over the place where I usually am, but that's kind of normal at this end of June. You know, it's the end of the school year and so on. So I'm sitting down nevertheless on the bench in the same woods. It's kind of nice. I saw on a bench further off there was a work colleague, but he's a nice guy, so that's okay. Uh, what to chat about? Well, the last uh, spooky university was on what makes you weird or something like that. You see, I'm not. I, I don't usually follow the curri curriculum very well in that respect. I just kind of remember the title, and. Uh, I thought, well, okay, um, uh, I could think about that. And at one point, I remember thinking I'd like to do a vlog once about, you know, uh, why do I always end up in the minority or the odd person out or, or what? And um, I don't know if that's what makes me weird, but it does very often make me particular. I mean, the fact of, uh, for example, coming from a, a bilingual family, but being surrounded by usually very often by people of the other language group and uh, being often taken for the odd person out and that's happened in school uh, regularly it has its advantages um, because when you are the particular person uh, you might get bullied but sometimes actually you get looked up to that hasn't happened often in my case but I mean get looked up to in the sense of uh, well, um, uh, we might uh, like to have you around because you're the only one who knows how to do this. Um, the person of my own age group and all uh, people that I knew, for example, that knew how to uh, build computers, or the only person that I know uh, in my age group and in surroundings that does YouTube and social media. Uh, I mean, these are actually right, relatively frequent stuff. I mean. Um, the only uh, one that I know in my age group, um, maybe not age group, has nothing to do with age group now, but uh, in the family circles, which uh, went all the way and did a PhD and then went off to a uh, foreign country. Uh, I know other people do it, but I mean, it's I'm talking about myself and my circles or what, and went off to live in a foreign, in f several foreign countries and uh, finally decided to emigrate, so to say. The only one uh, that became European, and in that respect, Swiss. Now, uh, the only one around that was living uh, in a completely foreign part, uh, in a language barrier where they didn't understand any of the languages and had to learn them. Um, okay, what else? Um, well, marrying my teenage girlfriend I probably is not all that exceptional but still not that many people end up doing it um, let me see when we were um, of course uh, I've mentioned that before being a scientist and being a, a Christian but not only a nominal Christian a believing Christian and finding that actually it all fits in yeah being a person that the, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, the liberal, my liberal friends find conservative and my conservative friends find liberal. Um, that's part of what you would call grace. And if one gets it, you will understand that. Otherwise, that would be of long on its own. Um, what else? What else? What else? The only one of my friends that likes to collect hats. <laughs> Caps and hats. A uh, <clears throat> uh, person that, like I said, was regularly walking around uh, with a camera in his hand. I, I would say that probably most people would think I'm weird. But that's probably because I live here. I wonder if I lived in America, if people would find that less weird. Anyway, uh, what else? Um, a person who regularly has to um, talk in public and uh, many people think is extremely sociable but actually is a bit of an introvert um, 
I hate, I've said that many times, I hate small talk. Um, but manage to do it if I really have to. Um, and once I know somebody, then I am really sociable. Um, I think in that respect, probably part of it goes on being uh, maybe a bit of a showman. You know, when you're when you're a showman or you like to do, I have done a bit of theater in class, school, and actually YouTube is part of that, isn't it? In a way, play acting up to a point. I mean, you, I think you'll understand what I mean. I mean, we're talking in front of something to ourselves or to a camera and so on. And even if people are around or listening to us, we're talking to ourselves. But when you get off the soapbox, uh, you're not on your, the bubbles burst, if you know what I mean. And then you have to, the same thing when you give a public talk, or often in churches, I've had to have uh, uh, very ceremonial things, you know, and give talks and so on. And, and I have given talks before, you know, packed auditoriums. And that's, that's okay. I mean, as long as I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Oh, I'm certain there's quite a few other things, but uh, I've probably been talking enough. So the fact was, it's going all around now. I mean, I, I might one day want to elaborate more on the fact that, for example, being in families where if you were, I was on the French side of my family, somehow you've maybe felt a little bit you were the Anglos, and if you're on the Anglo side of your family, you felt you were the French-speaking people. Um, somehow, always in, always in the camp with the, with the minority group somehow. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, is there something genetic in that? <laughs> I just don't know. Anyway, so uh, Claire, who is the mentor of the Spooky University uh, group. Um, that might not be exactly it, but at least I'm, when I look at it, it might be particularities of the personality that some people call weird. Other ones would just say, well, that's what makes you, you. So, yeah. Is being weird weird, or is being weird being you? Okay. So, DC signing off. Let me see how long I have been talking before I really sign off. I have been talking more than long enough. Yeah. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.